right so today we're gonna be tying the infamous squirmy wormy all right so I quickly just uh, attached my thread on the hook and next I'm going to um, be adding lead wire on the hook I'm gonna be casting this fly with a with a spinning rod I'm gonna need it to weigh a little bit um, this is a flat flat uh, lead wire but any type should should work Okay, I think that's enough for this fly. And next I'm just gonna wrap the thread around the lead, secure it in place. Gotta watch the Looks like there's a sharp edge, edge somewhere, cutting the thread a little bit. Don't need to cover it all, because we're going to be using some dubbing to hide the, hide the lead. Next, what you do is you attach... The silicon squirmy wormy material and I'm using a, a shorter piece this time I tied a few longer ones earlier and it's not rocket science you you make a few wraps over the silicon material and then and make a few wraps on the around the hook shank and then secure it down before you tie it to tie it down too tightly you can still sort of adjust the position of the worm actually I don't like how it's sitting in there right now so we're gonna we're gonna redo that I want to I want it to point forward not upwards so we're gonna flip this around and reattach it So next we're gonna add some D ribbon. Okay. Get that out of the way. And now we are ready for the dubbing or dubbing this is just a hairline pink fluorescent pink dubbing you can use whatever you have available I used to wrap or make the body out of um, the same silicon material but The flies don't 
turn out to be very durable that way. The middle part tends to start um, falling apart after a while, so I find that using dubbing gives the fly a longer lifespan and makes it more durable. And sometimes you can even fish the fly after you've um, lost or removed the, the wormy silicon parts. Sort of fish it, fish it like a scud pattern. Okay, I think that's that's more than enough. It's looking pretty bulky right now, but next we're gonna wrap this D rib around and it's gonna give the body a bit of shape and allow us to brush the dubbing out so it don't look that quite as bulky Then we're gonna then we're gonna whip finish the fly add a bit of UV resin and then brush out the dubbing just brush out those fibers and that's basically it. That's how I tie my squirmies these days. All right, let's check the weight of the fly. This one is 0 0.55 grams. I tied a few bigger ones earlier and those should be around 0 0.7, yeah. All right, here are the squirmy wormies that I tied. That's not very many. Hopefully we don't snack all of them before I manage to catch a fish. Fingers crossed. But yeah, I will see you at the river. Okie dokie. We are here at the first spot. looks a lot calmer this time and the water should be a bit warmer as well I think I was I was here I think it was a week and a half two weeks ago lots of water moving and must have been like five eight ten degrees colder as well so, hopefully we can find someone that 
wants to go for the squirmy wormy. There should be rainbow trout here stocked. Could be some brown trout. Also bream, eyed perch, uh, roach as well. It's all possible. And it looks really nice. Let's start here. Hopefully the bank isn't quite as muddy as it was last time. Looks a bit more manageable. There's some fish rising over there. Probably some bait fish. Water is quite stained, so, but that's, that's nothing out of the ordinary. It's quite heavy wind here. Uh, okay, almost got stuck on the branch already. The wind took my line and carried it really far into the tree. Ooh, that was a bite. That was definitely a bite. And I missed it. That's a good sign though. I don't know what it was, but definitely a pretty pretty sharp bite. Could have been a rainbow. A perch as well, but we're not hoping for a perch. That could have been a fish. My line stopped and I felt something kicking back. Could have also been weeds.
No. My line snapped. Not good. One down, two more to go. All right, I retied. Let's try and not lose. Let's try to not lose this one as well. <clears throat> that first snack was also entirely avoidable. I, I cast the fly straight on top of a rock and it got stuck on the, on some weeds over there or moss. That was a long, nice drift, but no reward. I'm using the lightest square meat that I tied right now. It doesn't sink to the bottom quite as fast. This allows me to do a bit longer drifts. But is it getting deep enough? That is the question. I don't know about that. I'm gonna have to switch spots soon if I don't catch anything here in the next few casts. Oh, there's a, there's a fish. There's a fish, actually. Nice. I didn't feel anything on my line. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a rainbow trout. It's just a perch. But hey. Challenge succeeded. Nice chunky little perch on the squirmy. If I could just get the squirmy off the net. Yeah, I'm gonna let this guy go. I'm planning on fishing for a little bit longer. quite warm like plus 20 degrees so it would the fish meat would start to spoil already the 
Okay, let's move. Stuck on weeds. Let's scare all the fish away. Okay, that's the fish. It's not a rainbow trout either, but it's a, uh, I think it is an eyed or perhaps a, what do they call those? Uh, forgot the name. Oh yeah, it's, it's not an eyed. I think it is a call him turpa in Finnish, but forgot what the English name was. That's really in there. Got it. All right, let's let him go. Sweet. That one came right above the rapids here. Wonder if there's more of them. I think we've seen this spot. Let's relocate. That was a bite instantly, but I think it was a small brown trout.
fight, 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 fight. Probably a small trout, uh, brown trout again, but. Oh, that's a bottom. That's a snag. Got it off, but then I managed to get it stuck in a tree. That's not good. But I got lucky this time. How? How did I manage that? Instantly stuck in the, in a snag. It's not a fish. Yep. Lost it. Did I lose the leader as well? some liter left. Come on. Yeah, I got stuck on the same tree or whatever. Great. Yep. Pretty sure we lost this fly as well. Great, 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 great. Great.